Today's book is Polly Jumped Over the Moon. This was a book that Stephanie and Heidi read when they were little. Polly wouldn't speak. Polly wouldn't sing. They all tried to teach him, but he wouldn't say a thing. Polly, pretty Polly, said Mommy to the bird, but Polly looked away as if he hadn't even heard. Polly, 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 pretty Polly, Linda said, but Polly only blinked his eyes and turned away his head. Mommy tried to teach him first. He'll soon pick up this easy verse. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. But Polly just blinked, and that was all. Then Linda said, I'll have a go. Polly will like this one, I know. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone, and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Polly opened his beak. Was he going to speak? Mike joined in. Little Bo Peep! But Polly simply went to sleep. So Linda jumped into a chair and, fixing Polly with a glare, sang, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky. But Polly wouldn't even try. Next, Mommy tried. I know a rhyme. He'll surely say the words this time. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. There came a big spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. But not a word would Polly say. Mike said, I think it's my turn. I know a rhyme that he could learn. I had a little nut tree, nothing would it bear, but a silver nutmeg and a golden pear. The king of Spain's daughter came to visit me, all for the sake of my little nut tree. Oh, Polly, Mike cried sadly, why won't you look at me? Don't shout at him, said Daddy. Now, that's not the way to teach him how. I know a good, some good rhymes, too. cock a doo doo, -doo my dame has lost her shoe. My master's got his fiddling stick and doesn't know what to do. It's no good, Dad, said Linda. He's turned his back on you. On lots of days they said their rhymes, and sometimes they would sing, but Polly simply tucked his head underneath his wing. Sometimes Polly nodded, sometimes Polly turned his head, as if he had not heard. He winked at them, he blinked at them, but never said a word. Then Mommy began to sing one day, Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. Hey, squawked Polly, hey! What did he say? Did he say hey? Mike and Linda cried. Polly stared at them. Polly glared at them, <coughs> then turned away and sighed. Mom told them both to go away. Leave it to me, she said. I'll teach him to speak. He'll soon open his beak. He'll be talking by Christmas Day. On Christmas Day, Polly opened his beak. Would he speak? Polly, Mommy, coaxed him and gently stroked his head. He blinked, he winked. And then this is what he said. Twinkle, twinkle, black sheep sitting on a wall with little Bo Peep Peep, he had a great fall. I had a little nut treat eating curds and whey. A spider came to marry me and frightened of Miss Mufferty away. Humperty, Dumperty, Mufferty, Dufferty. Hanging out the clothes with rings all on all her fingers and bells on all her toes with a pocket full of rye like a diamond in the sky. Little Bo Peep Peep lost her peep, lost her shoe, cock a doodle doo. Don't you worry, Mommy said. The rhymes are muddled in his head. He'll get them right quite soon. Yes, squawked Polly crowd, cr loudly, and Polly jumped over the moon. The end.